Hello, um, I'd like to give you a bit of a rundown on the uh, law firm Russell Kennedy's. Uh, Russell Kennedy's uh, were the law firm that uh, administered uh, my late mother's estate. Um, now, she was referred to Russell Kennedy's because she was looking for a, a good and reputable law firm. And she was referred by one of her friends uh, to this law firm. And they have impeccable references. They have uh, members uh, who are their principals who um, have been past presidents of the Law Institute of Victoria. They sit on the Legal Services uh, Commission committees. Um, they advise uh, very much in the uh, Retirement Industry Association. Uh, they've written uh, a lot of the standards uh, for the aged care industry. Um, and they also sit on uh, five specialist Victorian government panels, including uh, the Property Law Division. Uh, they have representatives that uh, are involved uh, in, in sitting on committees and advising the Retirement Villages Association owners. Um, and I'll read you just a little statement here by um, a gentleman called by the name of John Plunkett and uh, he's written a letter to the principal legal policy advisor, policy and legislation branch, Consumer Affairs Victoria. And I, I think this should, um, you know, raise your hairs a bit. Uh, Russell Kennedy is heavily involved in the residential retirement industry. The solicitors who represent the owners of the association, Retirement Villages Association, of the owners in Victoria are dominated by the firm Russell Kennedy Proprietary Limited. Russell Kennedy Proprietary Limited sponsor conferences of the association, lobby on behalf of the owners and the association, and they are well thought of by their clients. They were, I would presume, in, be involved with the government in the drafting of the acts and legislations. They have a dominant position and leave no stone unturned to maintain their position in what it, it must be a key business segment for them. Now, Michael Gordon, AM, he, he was one of the gentlemen who was named as uh, one of the members of Russell Kennedy, who could become an executor on my mother's will. And probably a pretty nice guy, I've never met him. Uh, he acts for a range of public private companies and businesses and for a number of government and non-government organisations. Advises and acting for the health sector, including a, re a relation to the regulation of health professionals, complaint handling, advising on medico-legal issues. Chairing the expert panel to review health services commissioner legislation and has written extensively on medico-legal legal matters. You should shut that door, by the way. Yes, sir. The one over there, behind me. Oh. Right. Ready, sit, go. Start again? No, just... Leadership. Member. Order of Australia. Board member, Melbourne Health, Royal Melbourne Hospital. Board member, Australian Health Practitioners Regulatory Agency. President, International Alliance of Law Firms. That's international. Chair, Patent Review Panel, Department of Health Victoria. Recognised by Best Lawyers as 2013 Best Lawyers for Health and Aged Care Law in Victoria. John Cochran, experience, over 25 years experience advising advising owners of retirement villages, aged care providers and peak industry bodies in relation to structuring, redevelopment, sales and purchases, residential agreements and lobbying government. Advising corporate, private and non-for-profit operators on regulatory compliance and corporate governance. Leadership. Board member. Mercy Health and Aged, Board Member, Legal Practice, Practitioners Liability Committee, 
Board Member, Legal Services Board, 2013 and 2005 to 2010. Now that's the board that looks after the Legal Services Commission. It's part of the regulating system. Name, Best Lawyers, 2013 Lawyer of the Year and recognised in 2012 for expertise in retirement villages and senior living law. Board Member, International Bar Association, President, Law Council of Australia, 2009. President, Law Institute of Victoria, 2001 to 2002. Rosemary Southgate, Leadership. Victorian Retirement Living Committee Member, Property Council of Australia. Recognised by Best Lawyers 2012 and 2013 for expertise in retirement villages and senior living law. As you can see, the members of Russell Kennedy are a highly influential group. Now, these people were nominated executors of my mother's estate and my mother's will uh, in conjunction with uh, my youngest sister, the youngest daughter. And they were asked by my mother to um, work in conjunction with my sister because none of us had experience in wills or tax of law and she knew it could be a nightmare. So after my mother passed away, we read the will, and the will was divided uh, equally amongst the four of us, except my part had gone into a testamentary trust, um, which could be released at the discretion of the trustees to any one of my family, including myself, um, and uh, it could, they could release all or part of the capital and all or part of the interest to any of the parties that were nominated. So, uh, as a family, we decided we would split the will equally, um, and there was no provision there for it not to be done so, and I had no financial problems, um, as this clause had been put in place to protect me from my trustees in bankruptcy, which had never occurred and uh, had no likelihood to. Anyway, <coughs> my sister and uh, my other sister and my brother and their husbands both went down to uh, the law firm Russell Kennedy and uh, they made an appointment with a gentleman called Ian Bull, who had been my mother's uh, lawyer and who had helped her write the will. And at that meeting, meeting uh, there was uh, a, a gentleman called Arthur Bulkus, who was the uh, will's advisory person for Russell Kennedy's, an accredited one. Um, and it was before probate, so at the moment the will had stated that all of the members of Russell Kennedy uh, could act as the executor uh, of the will. Um, so Russ, uh, Ian Bork was there as a representative of all of the members, um, as probate hadn't been granted and no executor had yet been nominated. Anyway, they, they asked him about uh, splitting the will equally and he said, oh no, it can't be done, it can't be done because uh, I have a letter um, from your mother that was written six years ago that says uh, Dermot shouldn't be treated equally under the will. So my sister, who was the executor at that meeting, requested him for a copy of the letter. This was in front of Arthur Bulkus, who I presume was supposed to be representing uh, both of the, uh, the executor uh, and also the representative of the executors, uh, Ian Bult. Now, Ian Bult said, oh, no, I can't show you this letter. It's a legal client privilege. Um, so anyway, we went round the roundabout and I saw lawyers and we wrote letters and all sorts of things and my sister resigned from the executorship because of the costs involved. Uh, the, the, and she didn't want a disagreement and uh, it made her very nervous um, as it did all of us and um, I, I wrote to the uh, Law Institute of Victoria I wrote to the Victorian Ombudsman I wrote to the Legal Services Commissioner and nothing happened well anyway after about seven years uh, Ian Bolt resigned and uh, a gentleman called Paul Gleeson took over and for some reason or another I obtained this letter and the letter doesn't say anything about me being treated differently to uh, my brothers and sisters. Um, and uh, in fact, Ian Bull lied about uh, what was in that letter. And he concealed that letter. Now, I brought, I brought Russell Kennedy's about these problems and I asked them to uh, provide me with documentation. I asked me to provide me with access to the estate file. They've refused. I asked them for their quality control systems in relation to 
uh, dividing an estate unequally amongst the siblings, that they have not furnished one. I asked them for copies of the minutes of that meeting where Ian Bull lied. Uh, I have not received it. I asked them who was representing who at that meeting um, in, in terms of what was Arthur Bulkes' role. I have not been able to get a reply except for one mistruth. And um, I've asked them for their standards in terms of administering deceased estates and uh, it appears to me as if they have none. Now these people, um, as I said, they're, they're, they're the creme de la creme um, in terms of their references. They advise government on uh, the aged care industry, they write the standards for the aged care industry, uh, they influence the protocol of how the industry works, and um, I am very, very, very concerned um, about that industry uh, because of the way this um, law firm seems to operate without standards, without accountability, and uh, is prepared to create disputes within a family um, so as it can gain from the fees and charges uh, that it can administer against a deceased estate. And, uh, I really think that this is a, a intolerable behaviour and has to be dealt with.